Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. Every single day, say it Pisces, I am the High Priestess. I trust patterns over promises. I'm not afraid of the dark. All right, let's see what messages Spirit has for us today. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Wow, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective. One more for the High Priestess Collective. Okay, Pisces, we got... Whoa, not afraid of the dark. Look at that, the void. I love what Spirit does that. You are not for everyone, Pisces. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. This is Miss Neptune on the table, but this is a picture of Jupiter. That's Jupiter's storm, if you look this way, the eye. Okay, this is a call for authenticity. You are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. True north is your calling, your direction. Who is it that you really are? What is it that you really believe? What is it that you really feel? What do you want to say no to? What event do you want to decline? What event do you want to go to attend what hobby do you want to pick up what person do you want to release pisces stop embrace the winter great cosmic wound womb not wound they're giving you permission to drop what's no longer serving you and enter the the womb enter the void um this winter season is going to be you know in the northern hemisphere southern hemisphere switch it reverse it for me okay um this season is your opportunity to say no go hermit go within and only say yes to the things that fully fill you up align you make you feel connected to the human experience the callings the the hobbies the nudges the places you want to go the activism you want to take go to what is lighting your soul on fire and say no to everything else you you have permission to say no to everything else lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go look at that pisces anything unaligned must go pisces this is another level of clearing but i think you've done so much clearing that this is like dusting it's like you've done layers and layers of like the major releases the major ties you needed to cut the major um habits mindsets perspectives codependent traits right um, dating patterns, patterns and friendships, the overgiving. You've done so much clearing. I think now they're like, now let's shine you up. Let's polish you up. But to polish you up, we got to get rid of the dust. Anything that's not aligned with this new golden, vibrant you, this aligned you, this authentic you, this divinely guided light pouring in from the crown chakra all the way down you, you are centered and aligned. If it's not aligned, you're not doing it. You're not going. That includes like external energy, obligations, things you think you have to attend, you have to say yes to, responsibilities you think that you have to continue. You're allowed to shift, Pisces. You're not for everyone. This is also a reminder of when you shift, people aren't going to like it. There are people who are going to just outright not like it. They won't agree with you. They might try to guilt you. Guilt is an extension of control. It is learned and programmed. If anyone tries to guilt you or you feel guilt just naturally coming up as a response, remind yourself guilt is an extension of control. Okay, this is all about you being free. Going into the void, maybe this is an opportunity for you to experience, um, you know, I feel like we did the death. I feel like there was a lot of deaths, releasing, ending of parts of the ego, parts of the self, parts of what you thought was reality, right? During Scorpio season, now that we're being encouraged, embrace winter, go into the void, go into the great cosmic wound. This is an opportunity like the, the caterpillar goes into the cocoon to completely dissolve and begin to metamorph into the version that you like, the version that you admire, the version that you always wanted to be. Think back to when you were a kid. When you were a kid, if you looked, if if seven-year-old you looked at you now, what would seven-year-old you say or think or do? Would they be like, I'm so proud of us. I'm so excited to be that adult. I'm so full. I'm so excited to feel that level of fulfillment and freedom. I'm so, you, you're so cool. I look at you. I look up to you. I admire you. And if not, if that child, if you think that that child would look at the lifestyle or the patterns or maybe some of the people around you or the places you frequent, if the child would be like, but why? Or like, 
that doesn't make sense. Explain it to me, right? Those are your opportunities for tweaking, modifying, letting it dissolve and metamorphing into the butterfly that you want to be. You get to make your wings. You get to pick the colors. You get to pick the size. You get to pick how high you fly, how low you glide, whatever it is that you want. You get to pick that Pisces. You have the awareness now. You wouldn't be watching tarot if you didn't have the awareness. Awareness is your superpower. You know how many fucking people don't have awareness? A lot. <laughs> Hit that like button if you already know that that's true. A lot. Don't have it, Pisces. You do. Now you got a superpower. They're like, create. Go into that magician mode, right? High Priestess Rhea, am I right? Creating the new you. Okay. What additional messages or insights do we have for the Pisces Collective, the High Priestess Collective? You are not for everyone. You are not alone. Wow. Oh. Walking on sunshine, wow, and don't it feel good? Hey, that's awesome, Pisces. You know, the Ace of Pentacles, if it comes out with the Empress for my tarot students, Empress, Ace of Pentacles is sometimes, and the sun even, it's um birth, it's creation, it's child, it's pregnancy. Because we're saying great cosmic womb, and this is an element of finding alignment, checking your north node, checking your north star, whatever that is. This ace of pentacles, this is you. But I also think you we keep getting this. Something has to be coming in. Something has to be coming in. And it's based on your energetic alignment. Pisces, do you, if it would be beneficial, make a list of like all the things that you really love doing or want to do. And, and anything that you're still doing that's out of obligation. Even if it's your job, throw it on the list. I know you you have to make money so you can pay your rent, right? I get that. But it can still be on the list. Make the list of all the things you love to do, want to do, and make the list of all the things that you're doing that you don't fucking want to do. All the people that you're like, I know I should reach out to them. I should do this for them. All those shoulds, write the shoulds down. And then one by one over the next few months, can you adapt that list and start crossing off the shoulds, crossing off the things that don't align with you, the things that are constructs or societal expectations or religious expectations or familial codependent expectations and start crossing them off. And if you can't cross them off, compromise, right? It's like, I have a very, very clear boundary with my parents. <laughs> I'm so old to, I feel like to have to do this with them, but love them, love them, love them, love them. Actually, this is more so, my mom doesn't do this. But with my dad, love him, love him, love him. I have to be like, you can't just pop up over here. Can't do that. Can't just pop up. Can't do that. I know your dad did that. I know your mom did that. I know we did that with your parents. But for me, you can't just be popping up over here. You got to call me and ask me if you can come over. Now, does he always remember that? No. <laughs> and that is where enforcing that boundary has to come into play or like reminding that person like hey remember we have this boundary I feel best when I feel safer when and sometimes I'll let them know like do you really want to come over here just on a random morning and risk meeting a man that you didn't know was here and that gets them a little squirmy not saying you have to do that Pisces you do what you gotta do but like are there boundaries that you need to remind people of or compromise like you can absolutely come over but we need a we need a date like this is the date and this is the time where we're going to have dinner or this is the date and this is the time where we can connect and catch up um this the days of you being accessible 24 7 and being everybody's crisis hotline no hotline bling gotta go babe sorry pay me <laughs> i got a dollar on my time now pay me Something's coming in for you, Pisces. Oh, this is like 3D expansion of your body, 3D expansion of your finances, or some kind of gift or offer comes in in the 3D as a result of your energetic shift. Let's go further here. I feel like I'm talking so much. Pisces, hit that like button. Claim this Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. This is this is a, a gift because you you keep on going. <laughs> this is you being like, I'm not going to stop reinventing myself. I'm not going to stop healing me. I'm not going to stop working with me. Yeah, something's coming in, baby. 
King of Pentacles. What is this, Pisces? This could be business expansion, financial expansion, a new career opportunity presenting itself. Listen, if that's the case, if this is finance, career, volunteer efforts, your time and focus may need to be on this thing so that you receive these gifts. And that's going to mean you don't have enough time, effort, energy for places where maybe you were like overgiving, overpouring, right? This is a little check yourself so you don't wreck yourself. Maybe you've been recalibrating all year so that you're not overpouring that queen of cups in reverse, right? Can you give yourself a little check though? I had to check myself recently too. Just give yourself a little check. Am I doing it? Okay, let me pull it back. I know what to do now. I have my systems in place now. Have I checked on my health? My, moved my body? Sang a little song? Did a little dance? Had a little play? Meditated? Prayed? Got outside? Ate three meals? Drank some water? And did my work? Like, we, we got to stack the self-care, right? Page of Swords. What is this offer, Pisces? This could also be some of you learning your body in a different way over the course of the winter. Learning how to tap into um, and feel into your needs. Maybe that is something some of you have not given yourself time for or like physical care is like taking a back burner because finances were on the mind or building your business was on your mind. Leaving your, you know, nine to five was on the mind. I'm going to get the little guys out. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy out here. So this is you embracing that Virgo Taurus Cap archetype. Capricorn is like making that money, being really structured, really grounded. Virgo, perfectionism, right? Let's not take it to the extreme. But like, can you like delusion? Can we channel Virgo energy? Can we channel perfectionism so that you develop a habit, a routine? Taurus bringing in that prosperity, that money, that wealth. Give me info on this page of swords. What is this? What is this? I don't know if it's a new beginning, you learning how. Or a message of some kind. Wow. Pisces, I think this is like a brand new beginning where, where you were once worried, like this thing won't come through, this change won't happen for me. I think you, you've like start, you've already started. Yeah, look, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups in Reverse. I think there's been a limitation around the mind space of like my wish fulfillment's likely not coming in. Nine of cups in reverse, right? If you look at this nine of cups, there's a golden treasure chest here. The golden treasure chest is like the, the treasure of fulfillment, which for some people it's enlightenment. For some people it's emotional healing. For some people it's um, finding happiness in your solitude. Like maybe you've never been alone for extended periods of time. Maybe this is like self-reflecting on what solitude means for you and how much expansion you can offer yourself. Nine of Cups wish fulfillment could also be like partnerships, the job you want, the finances that you want. But Nine of Cups in reverse, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, this is like the limitation energy, right? But it's being cla it's clarifying the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is looking at your King of Pentacles upright. It's King of Pentacles is like, I got it like that. I've mastered this. I've mastered my health. I've made health improvements. I've changed my body. I've changed my spending. I've increased my savings. I've expanded my career path. I'm very fulfilled. I've, I've built a family. I've extended my family. This is you learning how to do that, but there's so much fear behind the learning. I guess it's okay. It's valid, right? It's okay for us to be scared. But um, all of this is illusion, Pisces. Nine of Cups in reverse, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. That's all bullshit. It's not true. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's true. Ten of Cups. That's true. Ten of Cups is your reality. Ten of Cups is your emotional fulfillment that is attainable in this lifetime. The Ten of Cups is your birthright. This is what you came here to experience. Ten of Cups is not some distant, far out emotional feeling. Ten of Cups is today. Your Ten of Cups is today. Ten of Cups is I'm emotionally fulfilled with self and those around me. What can you do today to have a moment of, five minutes of, an hour of, an afternoon of, I, in this moment, am peaceful. I am, in this moment, grateful. I am surrounded by safety and peace. Where can you find that? I know it's possible for you to find that today. And, like, that's not a privilege everyone has. Let's be real. Right? Let's get one more on this page. Okay. Page of Swords. Curious Learner. 
beginning a stage of this really is like your meticulousness during this womb energy this could also be a reflection of like whatever new moon intentions you set last night for the 12 12 portal the new moon in sag it may already be starting you may have already felt a shift if you feel the energetic shift prepare because the incoming is what's next you may be receiving something that's going to take you on a journey and it's going to be a different kind of journey career path life path than you currently have been on because you're ready the word embrace it means you're ready but before the path path really makes itself seen there's this clearing and this preparing page of swords is preparing it's learning energy it's acquisition of knowledge and what are they learning how to be this king of pentacles you are in acquisition mode right now. There's so much growth already, though. This doesn't feel like from the bottom now we're here. This feels like I'm already in the groove. I'm in, I'm in the mode right now. King of Pentacles, learning how to do that. You are going to have to, like, dedicate and devote more time to this, your earthly presence. The home space, the body space, the finances. Um, and as you do that, you get this gift because you kept going. Okay, this actually feels right now. Give me a little on this lifting the veil. Anything unaligned must go. Pisces, hit that like button. Hermit, yes, embrace winter. Great cosmic wound. Womb, I keep wanting to say wound. <laughs> uh, and the hermit is shutting the laptop down. So this is also a technology detox or intentionality with technology. Intentionality with technology. So like we're not doom scrolling and we're not... You know, I know we all do it, though, and, like, we dissociate through scrolling, too. But this is, like, consciously, um, these times of day, I'm not on technology. I'm outside. When I'm outside, I'm outside. When I'm with the cats, I'm with the cats. When I'm in the bath, I'm in the bath. Um, not saying, com you know, you don't need to completely disconnect from the world. That's how we connect. But this, the hermit mode is, like, there's a time and a place. Anything unaligned must go is, like, closing the laptop is opening the veil disconnecting from distractions or this urgency culture this 24 7 access to me you like you being that crisis hotline right the 1-800-1888 pisces crisis hotline like you don't need to do that anymore this is saying like you're allowed to shut that down so that you hermit mode open the veil and explore what is this what is this showing me what do i need to learn about me through this process what do i need to question about what i've seen what i've learned what i've witnessed Neptune's confirming, trust your intuition. There's a lot of um, illusions that are being broken right now for the collective and on an individual basis. Allow the um, illusions to continue to dissolve. Again, Virgo energy. Virgo energy. And from this Virgo energy, that perfectionism, not like you don't need to be perfect at this, but dedicating like, okay, I can create structure. For one hour today, I'm completely disconnected from technology. For two hours today, six hours today, whatever the thing is. Um, from that, you get this star power. The star is that healing and wish fulfillment energy. The star card is also Aquarius, the water bearer, ancient wisdom. You will be acquiring ancient wisdom, which if you think about it, facing your true north with Jupiter here, Jupiter going direct at the end of the month, that is expansion. We're heading into 20... 24 which is the year of the eight which is going to be the year of pisces financial expansion health improvements career growth and opportunities um, romantic and familial and friendship levels of intimacy deepening they they really got they want you in prep mode babe they want you in prep mode here one more for lifting the veil that was so fast there you are pisces hit that like button queen of cups this is you pouring into your cup first, making sure like when my cup is full, I show up better at work. I show up better in communication. I am less anxious. My codependency or my attachment styles are less flared. When you fill your cup, you're actually more grounded, even though it's like water energy. When your cup is full, you are more present. You're less in the ethers. You make more sense. You're less, um, I don't want to use that word. What's another word for that? depend you're when you fill your cup you're less dependent on the reaction and presence of others we are interdependent creatures so it is important to have community and friends but that doesn't mean that you need to be showing up 24 7 you need your time too pisces 
by you doing this, you're actually setting off on a new spiritual journey. See, two pages. It's new beginnings. This is new beginnings for you. So whatever death and rebirth energy you're in right now, 2024 is going to be this rebirth year for you. The amount of dedication to the void and self-exploration that you give yourself now, you afford yourself now, is only going to catapult you further in 2024. Let's get one more for this Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Look at how cute you are. Affirm it, Pisces. I'm so fucking cute. Yes, you are. I love this. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles plus that Ace is ten. This is you building. Oh, man. Actually, this is like the prep of like full attainment, right? The nines are attainment or fruition. Because you're living in grounded harmony connected to the divine with that bird on your hat. Those carrots represent um, eye health, right? So here it's actually third eye health, seeing clearly. Man, all this like witchiness and third eye, crown chakra, clear senses activation, meditation, rituals, practices, moon ceremonies, all this spiritual work you're doing is now resulting in a lot of pentacle proof across readings. I'm noticing it in a couple other tarot readers as well. Like the pentacle energy for Pisces has just been increasing over the last two months and it's because of all this 5d work you're doing all this energetic work you're doing and if you're not yet this is the invite right they're saying if you want to be nine of pentacles and you want an ace of pentacles and you want a king of pentacles or you want to be a king of pentacles the energetic work the energetic shift is what takes you there take me there i want to go there one more for the king and page pisces hit that like button healing rejuvenation recuperation meditation contemplation you choosing it though embrace stop embrace the winter great cosmic wound that's what this womb sorry <laughs> that's what this is give yourself time to recalibrate to rejuvenate you're allowed to grow and do and learn and rest be and execute and plan and rest give and invest and create and rest I, that that has to be the balance of the energy here so if you're more like go 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 no resting or if you're like uh in analysis paralysis of like too much rest you just got to get a little bit of the opposite energy just to kick it off just to get the momentum flowing again otherwise what will happen four swords plus that page swords is five swords um, you will become depleted mentally and that mental depletion is going to slow the roll of the delivery of this beautiful Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. This, this is your future. Maybe we should just say this is the now. <laughs> Pentacle proof is my now. Affirm it, Pisces. <laughs> Pentacle proof is my now. I can't believe this Ace keeps coming out. Different decks, different days, right? If you're already in this beautiful King of Pentacles or Nine of Pentacles energy, you can expect this balance that you maintain to usher in or attract or call in this Ace of Pentacles, which, which puts you over the edge from the Nine to the Ten. Okay, I dig this. Let's get a little more where we have 23 minutes. Pisces, hit that like button. Claim your Pentacle proof, babe. Claim your boundaries, claim your space. You're allowed to say no, you're allowed to do less, you're allowed to rest in between. We can't, you know, do, 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 and then and then expect like a little bit of rest to recharge. It's this stacking of like, do for this amount of time, rest for this amount of time. Be on, connected to technology for this amount of time, go do something in nature for this amount of time. Like just swapping things so that there's more balance here. Let's use the light seers now. Oh! Okay. We have the Divine Feminine Full Moon Ceremony, the last one of the year on December 26th. If you want to register for that ceremony while well, there's still spots left, you can do that at the link below. We also have our shop, small business, high priestess, community business share link pinned below underneath the full moon ceremony. Click that. 
link to see tarot readers, coaches, holistic healers, metaphysical shops, candle offerings, art offerings. There's so much on that list that you can shop from this holiday season to shop small and specifically highlight and support high priestesses. All right, spirit. Let us know what's to come. Okay. We're good. Look at that, kid. Devil in reverse. Whatever was persisting and resisting, like in a bad way, holding you back, it's being released. So if workaholism is a thing, perfectionism is a thing, analysis, paralysis, codependency, yep, six of swords moving towards harmony in the mind. This is like you taking action. Look at that. Taking action to walk away, leave the mental space of like draining energy, overthinking, over caring. What are they going to think of me? What do they think of me? Did I say something wrong? It's leaving that behind. It's also being like, I'm only going to attend or show up or offer what I have to show up with or offer. If I am depleted, I'm not going. If I'm depleted, I can't show up. And I will explain to those people and those people will accept it or they won't like it. And if they don't like it, then it's clear that those people aren't for me. They're a different point in their journey. I am here though. I am the queen of pentacles. I'm grounded. I take care of my body, my home, my heart first. King and queen of pentacles. We got a divine pair out here now. So your feminine masculine energy, the receiving and the creating, balanced with the doing, attracting, and planning. Perfectly balanced. And that's what's bringing in this equilibrium, this harmony of the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, if you are partnered, there's going to be an influx, if you're both on this journey, an influx of monetary gain or a shift in your material wealth or generational wealth, whatever you're building. If you own a business with somebody, there's also opportunity for new um, aligned clientele. Big shift in the alignment of clientele. And if you are single and open to love, there's a divine counterpart that matches this energy. It's grounded energy. It's it's not that they're not spiritual, right? If you look at her, um, her crown is a head wrap with these beautiful branches and leaves. It almost looks like holly in the center. She has like a crown of leaves, right? This crown is made of earth. The crown is something bestowed upon a king or queen or royalty in tarot, bestowed upon from the divine. So this person is still connected to divinity. They've grounded it so much that they've allowed their manifestations to come through in the physical form. If we spend excess time in 5D with no imp implementation and practicality in the 3D, then the manifestations don't come through in the 3D. If we spend too much time in the 3D and not enough time in the 5D, then we have like distorted manifestations come in. But the King and Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, they have a balance of spirituality, meditation, connecting to nature, praying, divination, ritual, magic, and being present in their human form. That is for somebody. Hit that like button. I don't know who that was for. Look at that, Nine of Cups, not in reverse, Pisces. You reverse engineer your own bullshit. I love to see it. I love to see it. That gold treasure chest, we keep coming back. What is with the gold? Gold, pentacle, yellow. There is something about this combination of using your spiritual beliefs to work for you instead of, just going to use an example, seeing angel numbers and being like, Oh, I must be on the right path. I'm not alone. That's true. And also, are you taking your spiritual beliefs deeper? Are you allowing your spiritual beliefs and the signs to move you forward? Are you allowing them to encourage you to make bold decisions that will lead to materialized manifestations in your 3D? Some people get stuck in the romanticism of angel numbers or the romanticism of signs and there's no implementation there's no like taking that energy and inspiration and using it to move forward this is there are a group of you here could be all of you but there's a group of you who are now taking the signs the symbols and the synchronicities and applying it to everyday decision making responses career moves um caring for community, showing up in the world, 
that combo, that's what puts you in this abundant earth energy. It's There is untouchableness here. And the financial freedom or the, or the earthly freedom that you get from this is the ultimate peace and healing. Mm. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles, nine, nine is divine path. You have been, led, so nine, nine, master number nine, nine is divine path. That means you've been led here for a reason. The path isn't done. The path is like inviting you in. Does that make sense? You also have nine of wands under here. Nine, nine, nine means one cycle is ended and this new one, page of swords, page of wands is beginning. There's already growth here though. You're not starting from scratch. There's like, you've laid like sh very strong groundwork. Again with that knight of wands, marching to the beat of your own drum, the four wands in the background. Damn, this is nice, man. They want you to get a little wild with it. Like, are you tapping into your wild side? Are you playing? Are you dancing? Are you singing? Are you taking bold moves? Are you going to things alone just because you want to go to these things? Are you striking up conversation with people just to enjoy a conversation with someone? Are you making um, spirit-led decisions in your finances, your career, your relationships? Are you listening to what your heart and your spirit are saying, even when it's scary and you do it anyway? Because when you do it anyway, you might not get an, you might not get an immediate response that you want. You might get one that you want, but you might not. The response might come later in the form of a different gift. They want you to get in the habit of be free. Be authentically you. It's the fastest way to weed out who's not for you anyway. Who is this? I want to be friends with whoever this person is. This is my kind of friend. Brave, bold, authentic, unlearning their own shit. Being compassionate with themselves and others who are also unlearning their own shit. That's who I want to be friends with. Because those people make me better. I'm inspired by that, right? There are, so, there are a few high priestesses who, who over, I know you already embody this. So this is spirit being like, keep on going, girl, guy, day. Because there's buku abundance coming for you. And if you feel like there's still some healing and unlearning to do and re, you know, unlearning and unbecoming to become and learn, then this is the invitation. And like everybody starts where they start. Be where you are and allow yourself to play with this. Ten of Wands at the bottom. This is like saying goodbye to an old life. Um, not everyone's going to be for us, right? It just, that just is what that is. And that's a growing pain that we experience. And that pain that you experience in the goodbyes and the turnovers, the turnover rate of friends, um, that pain will be healed with the attraction of a new tribe and the gratitude you'll feel for these like beautiful gifts that do come in when you align with you. There are three wands, three wands of fire in this 10 of wands card. There's... 10 total like she's actually carrying these 10 right but there's three that are lit up the three wands lit up is a card of leadership look with the death and rebirth under it the three of wands is a card of leadership this journey is not for the faint of heart it's for the bold it's for the brave and the beautiful claim it pisces also affirm i am more abundant than ever abundance is my birthright i like it advice for Pisces on this journey just know you're not alone advice oh I don't do reversals in this deck but it's the reversal struck me in this deck five of cups came out in reverse so it's like the hard part of goodbye is gonna it's gonna be easier than you think I think it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday three of cups from the five of cups to the three of cups you are that pearl you are the rare find in the deep sea you are a little aphrodisiac too pisces watch out be careful have fun that's cause for celebration there's like i think that this is you uncovering the rare rose gold pearl that you are in an oyster shell. This is you like opening the oyster shell in the womb and being like, I am this rare. I am this fucking special. Why did I waste so much goddamn time with clown shit? Right? Clown shit days. Bye bye. Gone. Over. Smell you never. 
Queen of Wands. You got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. We just need the Queen of Swords, and that makes you the Empress, babe. Shadow Work Queen. So they want you to embrace this void, right? Embrace the, the void, embrace the winter, embrace the change with the knowing that you are, through your spiritual alignment, attracting all this pentacle proof. One more. That could also be you creating in this void. You might be birthing something new. Are you kidding? Pisces. Ten of freaking cups. Another freaking rainbow. Didn't we see the ten of cups in another deck before at the bottom? We said that's your now. That's your reality. Oh, Pisces, we keep getting great cards, man. Nine of cups. Ten of cups. Ace of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. King of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. From five cups to three cups to ten cups. This is your emotional fulfillment. It's also the pathway to meeting somebody that compliments you. It's also the pathway to deepening emotional fulfillment, peace, and healing in your family. Whether you live with them or not. It's also stacking on. Um, stacking emotional experience and investment with those you have intimate relationships with. So this is becoming closer with your closest friends, becoming closer with your partner, becoming closer with your parents, repairing um, damaged relationships. Listen, you don't need to, you don't need to be on call 24 seven, but you can heal the dynamic you have with someone inside of you without them being present. You know that, right? Sometimes death is a good example of like, I've, you know, you guys know I've lost family members to addiction, several. And leading up to their death, um, things were not good. The relationship was in discord. But since they have passed, I have cultivated forgiveness for themselves and myself and have repaired a dynamic within me for them that's still transmuting forgiveness they don't need these people don't need to be around for you to forgive and like compassion it's not an outside job it's an inside job so no matter how you slice this whether it's people who are around you people who have passed people who are not around you but are living that ten of cups intimacy forgiveness compassion that frees up energy in you the more you are able to release resentment um give forgiveness, offer yourself compassion, offer others compassion, the more space you make in your energetic field to receive nine of pentacles, ace of pentacles, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. And some of you are just going to meet your match, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. And you know what? We got the king and the queen and the ace. Be careful. If you're not trying to have babies, be careful because it looks like there's baby making energy over here. High priestess after dark. Okay, eight of wands. Love this. Lightning is enlightenment. This is um you being zapped with <laughs> fire, with spiritual energy, with the acknowledgement of I am the master of my reality. I, I can create my circumstances. If you're if you're in a place where you acknowledge the awareness of your magician energy, then you're ready. You're here. Why don't I feel done? We just went so deep. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. One more for Pisces from the Muse Tarot. That's why. <laughs> Walking on sunshine. Wow. And don't it feel good? This is solar plexus healing, babe. This is you being like, I am so worth it. I am the most worth it. I am the worthiest of worthy, worth it. <laughs> worth, listen, self-worth is an action. Self-worth is an action. Are you taking care of your body? Are you taking care of your mind? Are you taking care of your heart? Are you showing yourself with action that you're worthy? Damn. Some of you need to go meditate. Some of you need... To go back to yoga if you fell off, some of you need um, a little root chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra balancing, healing. Pour some love in there. The sun is wish fulfillment, though. How many times are we getting wish fulfillment? <laughs> the sun also is a baby. I'm telling you, some Pisces, if you're not trying to get knocked up, you know, 
be careful. And if you are trying, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. This is so beautiful. We love a baby priestess this time of year. The sun card number 19, one plus nine is 10. And that's a wrap. The sunshine is truth. Ooh, this is your truth. That first card, not, not everybody's going to like you. You're not for everybody. But when you stand in that authenticity, this truth, you become happiest. And when you are happiest, you attract people who also vibe and, and um, vibe with you in that frequency and share the same values as you. Kind of actually kind of makes me think about the four agreements. I was just talking about this in therapy. The four agreements talk about being impeccable with your word, not taking anything personally, knowing that everybody's behavior is about them, not you. That's very, very challenging, I know. But it's also very liberating. It's also very freeing to be like, this person acted or reacted this way. That's about them and their wounds or their lens or their perspective, not about me. When you come into that place, you secure harmony, peace, fulfillment for yourself. That book club starts um, January 2nd. You can register for that at the link below too. We got a few spots left for that. We're going to read a chapter or two a week and then discuss how we're implementing it in our day-to-day -day lives. All right, Pisces, this is a lot of wish fulfillment. This is clarity. This is pentacle proof. Tell me how the pentacle proof is popping off, baby. Page of emotions at the bottom. Look at that heart chakra. Bright as the sun. With your little octopus legs, that means you got a little alien in you. You're not, you are not like the others, Pisces. <laughs> but we know that, right? <laughs> I love it. All right. Advice for Pisces. Whoa. Detach. You're being asked to detach from something you've been holding on to, especially if it's from obligation, Pisces. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. Because look what happens when you let go. Embrace the winter. Enter the void. One more. Yes. This was my word for 2023. My intention. Expand. You're being asked to expand, Pisces. You live in a huge world with endless possibilities. Staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. Pisces, hit that like button. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them. This is amazing. I Three days in a row. Oh my God, and a line at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Pisces, hold my hands. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. When you're ready, take a big deep breath in, expanding the belly completely. Hold it at the top. Feel the power of your life force in your chest. Release. Affirm. I am open and ready to receive, baby. See you tomorrow, Pisces.